when she gave me an ultimatum. She told me we either open our relationship or we are done. And I told her I wanted to break up. And I told her to leave my house as soon as possible. What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's feeling good. Hope everybody's doing well. We are back with another story post. Guys, I'll put this up on the screen if you want to check it out. But you guys read the title? Let's just get into it. So, true off my chest. I finally dumped my girlfriend of five years after she forced me to open our relationship. Mm. The relationships continue. English is not my first language, so I'll apologize in advance. It feels very emasculating telling this, but here we go. Me, 25-year-old male, and my ex-girlfriend, 24-year-old female, have been together for five years, and everything was great until she got a new job. She quickly became friends with a girl at her new job named Jessica. Jessica has an open relationship. She somehow made my girlfriend interested in it. And every day, my ex-girlfriend would tell me how great it would be for us and how we would meet other people. I always told her how I felt and how I didn't want to be with any other woman. And just the image in my head of her being with someone else would destroy me. Anyway, we had multiple conversations about it until the beginning of this year when she gave me an ultimatum. She told me, we either open our relationship or we are done. I don't know what in the F I was thinking, but out of fear of losing her, I agreed. It didn't take long for her to find a casual partner. He went out with a not so close friend of mine. She sleeps at his mom's house and apparently he took her to work in the morning. I was so confused. I kept asking myself what I did wrong. When she came back to our house, I didn't want to talk to her, and I avoided her every time I could. But at that point, I probably knew it was over. I lost all my sex drive for her. I felt disgusted by her. It took me a couple of weeks to look her in the eyes again. She went out with him a few more times in a period of six or seven months. We never got it in without protection. And every single time, she would whine about how I wouldn't get it in with her without protection and how I was making her feel like a dirty woman. Anyway, about a month ago, I started going to the gym and I met a really nice girl and we started talking. After a few weeks exchanging messages, we went out and it finally hit me that I did not need to be in a toxic relationship, that I don't need to agree with everything she says just because she wants to. I was ready to finally get over this mess. I waited for her to get home from work and I told her I wanted to break up and I told her to leave my house as soon as possible. For my surprise, she didn't freak out. She didn't even cry. She didn't even cry and try to manipulate me like she usually does. It's been six days now as I write this. I'm still waiting for the sadness to settle in, but I just feel released. It's finally over. I'm still pretty confused about all this stuff and I just wanted to share this with someone. Wow. Guys, here we go again. Look what he said. It didn't take her long for her to find a casual partner. Of course not. She's already, as soon as her friend at work told her about this juicy relationship that she's in, ooh, girl, I get to get my back cracked by whoever I want. And my boyfriend still pays all my bills, takes me out on dates. I lean on him when I need a shoulder to cry on. He's there for me emotionally. But when I want some D from somebody else, oh, I go get it. And your girlfriend, she loved the thought of that. And she already had somebody lined up. Oh, yeah. She had somebody lined up. I'm not surprised. It's always like that. That's always the case. I'm glad eventually you moved on. It, 
it does sad me to hear that it took another woman for you to move on guys you gotta understand that's how women are you know how you're always you're always surprised when man she moved on quick after you broke up with her and she's already got a guy women do that women find a replacement way before you even find out there's a a, a problem in the relationship because they have a huge fear of being alone men you shouldn't be like that as a man being alone you should be cool with that it's okay to be alone and if you're if you're not okay with that then you really need to work on your insecurities you know and i think hitting the gym did help you um but i think it sounds like ultimately finding that other girl helped you move on and you know in this case i'm happy you found her because it got you out of that toxic relationship but just think if you didn't find that girl would you still be with her man dealing with her getting smacked by somebody else she's staying at somebody else's place and then the, how disgusting is she i could tell you right now with her affair partners these other people she's sleeping with she's not using protection and she comes home and wants you to not use protection hmm just nasty whatever i get you have to get it too nasty she is disgusting i'm glad you're out of that situation and i'm glad you always use protection smart man let's check out the comments it's been six days now as i write this i'm still waiting for the sadness to settle in but i just feel released someone's calling out you already went through the stages of grief looks like denial she wanted an open relationship you didn't this is usually a relationship ending the conversation anger you had multiple arguments and an ultimatum bargaining you thought if you accept an open relationship it would save your relation depression you saw her effing around and couldn't look at her without disgust you avoided her acceptance you finally acknowledge your relation is toxic and over you met a new girl don't think there is more sadness concerning your ex i wish you the best you deserve someone better i hope the gym girl turns out to be everything you hope and deserve good luck it has long been debunked. You might experience all of these things while grieving. My favorite motto of grief is the ball in a box. Gosh, I hope it gets better. My girlfriend dumped me last week and after the shock, I was completely blindsided. I've been feeling a lot of anger at her. Guys, your girl dumped you. Don't get angry. Just move on. Men, we're men. We're men. You don't, we're not going to sit. And of course, you're going to be sad. If you had good times and you were blindsided by it, I get it. But you have to realize that sitting around and crying about it and being sad about it is not going to help anything. One of the biggest life lessons you guys will learn if you haven't learned as a man. When you go through something, nobody gives a heck nobody cares it sucks when you go through that and some of you listening probably have gone through that before i have you realize it's a wake-up call it's a slap in the face like i'm gonna sit here and mope about it for get up and, and, and get things done nobody cares man it, it's it's hurtful because especially when you're younger you want somebody to care but as a man you realize nobody really cares this is exactly what i went through with my ex in that exact same order good luck ob you're gonna be all right yes it took time for ob to do this but it was done that's all that matters absolutely that's that's what i'd be saying i don't care what they go through in these stories you know, um, they, if, if it took him an extra year, eventually at the end of the, at the end of the story, if you made it out and you dumped her and did the right thing, I'm proud of you. I'm happy for you. Now I am going to mention, yeah, at this point you were this, you were that you did this, but at the end of the day, I'm so proud of you and I hope you learn from it and you never make that mistake again.
I've said that from the beginning of this channel, when I started reading other people's stories, when I stopped telling my story, and I started reading other people's stories, I don't care how much of a doormat they were through the whole story. At the end, if they said, I had enough, and I walked away finally, guys. I'm going to praise you, man. I'm going to celebrate at the end because you did the right thing. Some people got to bump their head a lot. Some people can read other people's stories, learn from other people's mistakes, and not make the same mistake. That's why I have that quote in the beginning of the, every video. From the very beginning, I've always had that quote. I'm not one to judge either. However, I will say there's tons of couples out there that work with open relationships. That's what they say. That's what I hear. I hear on all these podcasts. I hear it. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. I'll catch you guys at the next one.